<sighs> Sorry, I'm a bit sleepy. Maybe I should charge my batteries a bit. Speaking of batteries, what about sleep mode? You know, that little time where your phone, computer and other devices turn idle? Does this really save power? Can devices actually sleep? What are the devices really doing? And do they still absorb and consume power? Let us find out on this episode of Ask Me What. But before we start, don't forget to hit subscribe below. So, if you have an electric device of any sort, you probably know what sleep mode is. But what does sleep mode actually do? If a given device with sleep mode is left unused for a certain amount of time, hardware that consumes power is momently disabled. Once you begin using that device again, the sleep mode is deactivated. When restored, sleep mode brings us back to the same point we left off. Applications, files, status updates, it is all there on our devices. Yes, this is convenient, but does it save energy? Sleep mode, standby, they say the average household has about 15 to 50 devices as such. And guess what? What? Switching off your devices instead of leaving them standby can reduce your electricity bill by 10% annually. But what about charging batteries? Nowadays, more and more devices are wireless. Obviously, these devices need to be charged periodically. Every charger contains a transformer, which transforms the voltage of the current leaving the socket into a lower voltage required by the connecting device, which is typically somewhere around 12 volts. But you see, the transformer consumes electricity even when the charger is not connected to the device. And how many of you viewers have your unused chargers plugged in right now? For people charging their smartphones during the night, one or two hours is more than enough time. Any more than that is useless and may lead to 35% in additional power consumption. So one, it is better to only charge your device until it reaches 100% battery life. And two, remember to also unplug your chargers after use. The above tricks will limit the thermal aging of your charger and device battery as well, since both heat due to losses. Less heating equals longer lifetime. To reduce the standby consumption of domestic appliances, it is good to use multi-socket extension cords with a switch. That way, you can switch off several appliances at the same time. Most of them have a small light. But then there is the Wi-Fi box, which we need. Some household appliances, such as dishwashers or washing machines, we need to live on too. Why? Because they use their watches to detect water leakage. Yeah, definitely better to leave those on. But to make up for their energy usage, you could purchase eco-design appliances. In recent years, many devices have been reinvented to save money and to limit environmental impact. In specific, Energy Star labels promote design efforts to limit the consumption. For example, a photocopier consumes 80% of its power in standby mode, but an inject printer does not need to be warmed up at all. Also, multifunction equipment consumes far less than the sum of the devices it replaces. Yes, but powering off the devices saves more. Remember to always unplug your chargers and keep an eye on your idle appliances too. The standby usage of a household represents an average power of more than 50 watts. Removing standby power saves around 80 to 120 euros per year. Besides, those devices need time to rest, just like me and you. <laughs> 